Hello and welcome. So I'm going to walk you through a problem that uh, sometimes it's better to kind of walk through the story. This problem is a uh, time value of money problem. So first we need to calculate a future value and then we need to turn around to really solve what we need and then calculate a present value. So we've got to do two calculations as um, the main calculations as part of the solution for this problem. So the setup is, is that Pete has a, a real estate business and uh, somebody comes up and says, hey, I want to buy that real estate business. And so the task is, is what to figure out what price Pete should sell it at, at this time, the present value, to be able to um, offset basically the idea of keeping the business. So here is uh, some of the information. So important in info. So the current value of the business is $75,000. So that's important to know. Um, the appreciation rate, meaning uh, what the business is going to grow right, by is 12%. So the value of the business is going to grow by 12%. And that's assuming 12% semi-annual uh, for four years. Uh, the office, the offer price. So the the person that wants to buy the business is currently offering eighty thousand. Uh, that is only uh, important if uh, depending if it's too low, right? <laughs> so if it's high enough, that's good. If it's too low, we actually need to figure out what Pete should be asking. Uh, what another piece of information that's important is to know that if Pete were to sell the business, he can invest whatever he sold at 4% interest that's compounded quarterly going forward. Okay, so now we have the important information. Now let's let's walk through this. So if if uh, Pete keeps the business, so it's currently worth 75,000, it's going to grow for 12 years at 12% semi-annual compounding. So what's the future value? So we can calculate what the future value is. So we need first the periods. So we're going to use the factor tables to solve this. So we need the periods. We need also need the interest per period. That's what we're going to plug into the factor, factor tables to give us the factor to, to multiply our uh, current value by to get a future value. So periods, the way we do periods in this, and there are actually um, equations that do this. But this is kind of a shortcut method that we learn in this book is, is using factors. Factors basically are numbers that are uh, calculated to help us give us basically a shortcut in calculating the future value or present value. So um, the periods, what we need to do is multiply up. So we have four years and it's going to be semi-annual, which means twice a year. So that's four times two, eight periods. The, the interest is going to be working for eight periods or compounded every period, which is eight periods total. Uh, our interest per period, the original interest that we're given, it, it always is going to be annual interest unless otherwise stated. And so what we need to do is we need to convert this 12% into semi-annual interest since 12% is the annual interest. So we're taking our... All right, so let me finish this up. Uh, so we got 12% divided by two semi-annual, which gives us 6%. We're gonna take those two things, the eight periods and the 6%, we're gonna plug those into our factor table and that'll give us 1.5938 as the, the factor. Multiply our 75,000, which is what our business is worth now, times the factor, that gives us a future value of $119,535. That's what the business would be worth if we held on to it and didn't sell it. So now, uh, what if Pete sells? We're really going towards that end question of, of how much does he, has to have, does he have to sell it for now to make it worth his time. So. Um, so what amount would he need to invest now to still have $119,535 four years from now? 
So in order to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to say, okay, uh, let's look at our investment uh, ability. And uh, what we first have to do, again, the periods and the interest are important to plug into our table. We're going to go from the future, which is the amount that our business would be worth if we held on to it, and we're going to discount that back to the present value. So we're going to use the present value table for this next calculation. So that's, again, four years is how much we figured we'd hold on to the business. So we're going to discount back that much. Four times four, which in this case, we're talking quarterly. That's our investment. So we're talking investment, how much we can invest for invest something now if we were to sell the business. 16 periods. Uh, interest at 4%, annual interest. That means every quarter that would be 4% divided by 4, 1% per quarter. And so what we're going to do is we're going to plug those in, 16 periods, 1% into our present value of one table. That will get us 0.8528 as the factor. We're going to take our future value if we held on to the company and discount it back to today using that factor. And then that will be, uh, that will give us $101,939.45. That's what it gives us. And when that what that means is uh, that is the amount that Pete has to sell it for now in order to make sense into selling it versus holding on to the business. All everything else equal, uh, all risks, all the other risks uh, not included. That's just what Pete has to sell it for now in order to invest the money at four percent quarterly compounded for four years to end up with the same amount of value that he would need if. Uh, if he were to just keep the business and run it and get that um, appreciation on on the value of the business. So that's our answer, uh, 101.939.45. So hopefully that helps you do the problem set, and we will talk to you later. Thanks, bye.